Have you ever wondered how a seemingly ordinary person turns into a monster? What could possibly lead them to commit such heinous acts? Let's delve into the early life of Richard Speck, a man whose name would become synonymous with horror. Born into a world of neglect and abuse, his childhood was anything but ordinary. His mother, the only beacon of love in his life, passed away when he was still young, leaving him adrift in a sea of uncertainty and pain. Speck found solace, not in the comfort of friends or family, but in the dangerous allure of substance abuse. As he descended deeper into this abyss, his criminal activities escalated, and the seeds of violence took root. His life became a twisted dance of crime and violence, a dance that spiralled out of control. An unstable childhood, a path filled with crime and violence, and the loss of the only person who ever cared for him. These factors created the perfect storm that would eventually lead to the infamous night of July 13th, 1966. Imagine a peaceful home suddenly plunged into a nightmare, a place of learning and healing turned into a scene of terror. On that fateful night in 1966, Richard Speck invaded a townhouse, a sanctuary that housed nine student nurses. Little did they know their lives were about to be irrevocably altered by a man consumed by a monstrous urge. In the deep of night, under the cloak of darkness, Speck infiltrated their home. One by one, he systematically subdued these young women who were merely in the prime of their lives, full of dreams and aspirations. They were cornered, held captive in their own home. The house that was once filled with laughter and shared secrets was now a prison, echoing with cries of fear and desperation. Speck, driven by a chilling ruthlessness, proceeded to extinguish their lives, one after another. Each act was a testament to his callous disregard for human life. He showed no mercy, no humanity. His actions were the embodiment of pure evil. Yet in this terrifying tableau of brutality, a glimmer of hope emerged. One of the nurses, Corazon Amor, managed to elude Speck's grasp. She hid, holding her breath, praying for survival, as she listened to the horrifying ordeal unfold. Her courage and quick thinking meant that she lived to tell the tale, to bear witness to the atrocity that took place that night. As the sun rose, the magnitude of Speck's heinous act was revealed. Eight lives were brutally snuffed out, eight futures stolen. The townhouse, once a home, was now a crime scene, steeped in a silence that screamed of the terror that had unfolded just hours before. A night that started like any other ended in a bloodbath, leaving the world in shock and disbelief. The peaceful sanctuary was forever scarred by the events of that night. The memory of the lost lives etched into its walls, a chilling reminder of the night of terror. What happens when justice seems to lose its way, when a monster escapes the ultimate punishment? Richard Speck's trial was a spectacle drawing widespread attention. He was charged with eight counts of first-degree murder. The evidence was overwhelming. The survivor's testimony, the fingerprints, the sheer brutality of the crime. The initial verdict was a death sentence, seemingly an apt punishment for such a heinous act. However, justice took an unexpected turn. Due to legal technicalities, Speck's death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment. This twist of events sparked outrage and disbelief. A man who had committed such monstrous acts, living out his days behind bars rather than facing the finality of death. It felt to many like a grotesque parody of justice. Speck showed little remorse for his actions, further fueling public disdain. His life in prison was marked by infamy, his notorious crimes casting a long dark shadow over his existence. He became a symbol of twisted violence and a stark reminder of the perils of unchecked brutality. Amidst this bleak narrative, there was a beacon of resilience and courage. Corazon Amor, the lone survivor, played a crucial role in Speck's conviction with her brave testimony. Following the trial, she returned to the Philippines, seeking solace and recovery. Eventually, she moved back to the United States, refusing to let the tragic event define her life. She pursued a career in the medical field, a testament to her strength and determination. Her choice to live a fulfilling life was a tribute to her lost friends, a poignant echo of their shared dreams and aspirations. Richard Speck's life and crimes are a chilling reminder of the dark corners of the human mind. His story serves as a stark warning about the consequences of neglect, abuse and unchecked violence. His legacy is one of brutality and lack of remorse, a bleak testament to the damage one man can inflict when lost in the depths of darkness.